between Notre Dame and IUPUI. The Irish picked up their second win in a really close contest as Davis goes to the rim, and I think Durham may have gotten a piece of that one. Absolutely. Again, that wingspan just is a big difference. Durham got his hands on the ball. Yep. Irish by six and too much dribbling. And Lashevsky with a flush and a foul. Sanders back on the floor, Lashevsky and Goodwin. Oh, it was just a common foul on Durham, all right. How about the block and look at the stare down for Prentice Hub. Yeah. But it's pretty good. Watch, he times him up from behind and just whack. <laughs> Gets it out of there. Right, it's hugged to the hole. Foul and a basket and a chance to pull him within one. Let him do, and then let's see the foul. Just slapping down was Liddell. He got hit in the mouth. Arm around each other. We need that badly. Our nation's too good to have all that difficult differences. Well, that is something that Mike Bray is going to love to see. Demanding the basketball on a low block and his confidence brimming has made this a two-possession game. And Notre Dame just a couple threes away. He's one of the better three-point shooting teams in the country tying us up. Get the ball inside. They don't feel as though Notre Dame can guard them on the interior. And Roy Williams is trying to exploit that. Prentice Hub around the rim out and then back in. And defensive acumen and also ability to rebound. That'll come into question. There's a long rebound collected by the Hokies, but a giveaway, and Hub gets the N1. Basket. Yeah, it was just a lack of discipline on the offering back to Beatty. Notre Dame in his zone, and it leads to a turnover. Goodwin. There's that shot fake. It's going to be hard for any team to get a pure rhythm. Even as the season goes on, you're going to have unexpected games. Hub finding Lashesky down low. Final minute of this opening half. It's Hub. And he knocks down another triple. An outstanding behind the arc in a few games this season. Got eligible when all the transfers got eligible recently. Wong fumbled it away. Hub pull up three. And he gets the friendly roll. Hub for three. That's his fourth three. And that one rims out on him, and the rebound finds Hub. Hub in transition, pulls up and knocks it down. They get stops. They're so much better running their offense in transition. Well, and you see Prentice Hub surveying and realize he's got the distance. And and now Notre Dame looking to carve into this deficit. They've gone more than four minutes now without points. And Prentice Hub changes that. Florida State. Notre Dame was winless in their first five ACC games, Brian, but they've won two straight, large part because of what Hub has done. Matchup problem. We'll try Mutz. We'll try Kassam. We'll try Aluma. They've silenced Lashesky with anyone that they've put on him so far. And Prentice Hub's been the only guy finding his offense for Notre Dame. That for Jesse Jam gets the Irish going a little bit. Step back for Hub. Boo yeah! 13 points for Prentice. Be tougher than a $2 stake. $2 stakes. Pretty tough. Be tougher than that. Prentice Hub chance for three. Game of the season tonight. First bucket of the second half, though, right here. Yeah, you see that penetration, and that was something. Cormac Ryan and Nick Jogo into the game for Notre Dame as Lashesky goes to work with the shot clock winding down and Prentice Hub ties it up at nine. Hub gave it up on the drive and two more for Nate Lashesky through Koulibaly. The size that he can do that, 6'10", 227. And now he just cuts to the basket and again, he's gonna be matched up against Odakali. Odakali, of course, 6'5", 185. But he can't allow himself to be pushed out. Oh, how about that one from Prentice Hub from the P of the logo with the shot clock winding down. And Prentice Hub, he is. He's out past. You know, I mean, he, he, he takes nothing for granted. He doesn't take things seriously, and he enjoys what he does. And you've got to appreciate that. We see Nate Lashesky, Dane Goodwin get back on the floor here relatively soon if they're not able to make anything happen with offensive end. 
Uh, Durham has been the go-to man. Nice hook pass to get him a couple of more. Seven seconds to shoot. Prentice up, trying to make something happen. Looks inside. Jawan Durham takes one dribble and slams it home. An up and down campaign, but the ups have come at home, and he told us this is a win they have to have if they want to have some NCAA tournament. Jordan Usher, ball ripped away. Dane Goodwin comes away with it. Hub lets it fly and hits it for Georgia Tech. Well, part of the problem is they're, again, they're really struggling against that zone. This is really a good decision by Goodwin. Wachewski trying to post up inside against DeVoe, but don't need a post up. That was a long three. A 15-point lead for the Irish. The Prentice Hub doing Prentice Hub things in Atlanta. He's a good shooter on the season at 41% from three, and Duke has a 7-3 lead. Step back from Prentice Hub, and he answered. He has to beat Kentucky and Duke two times in five days, and they just they came out flat, played that way. And Coach K even said that yesterday when we talked about the first game. He said they just didn't have the same energy. We got Jeremy Roach on Cormac Ryan, who has 27 points, but he's been pretty quiet in the second half. What a tough shot by Prentice Hub, and the Irish pull even again. Guarded by Baker, and now this is the guy they want to have it. Prentice Hub, deep in the shot clock, has to pull it from deep, and he knocks it down. Prentice Hub with a clutch three for the Irish. A good job defending the initial ball screens, and here defense showing, but hard to cover 26 feet out when you're getting ready to receive a ball screen you got to know in that situation jeremy roach is sitting there hearing screen 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 uh, griffin with an outstanding job there on the baseline to deny alan griffin the 6-5 junior yeah, he had a game earlier this season danny where he had seven blocks against virginia tech i've thought about it from long range back off for Wirtz. We had a big game against purdue earlier this season and they continue to rain the long-range jumpers. Prentice Hub. The trap you. Pass out for Hub. Yes, all nets. So they're looking more like the team that let it get away at Syracuse the other day here in the first half against the Cardinals tonight. From way downtown, that one's going to rattle home. I think the officials are fortunate the place isn't packed, <laughs> knowing how loud it can get at the KFC Yum Center and sticking that one on the opposite end of the court. I'm thinking about getting off a long one and sticks it. Boy, that was a confident looking shot. Davis off the back of the iron. Hub on a run out. Wants to take it himself, trying to go in strong off the window and a pretty bucket. Miscommunication. Hub actually gave it up and found Nate Leshesky scoring his first points. Great second chance opportunities. We'll throw a good outlet that leads to transition scoring. We'll switch and keep a guy in front. Those little things pile up to playing winning basketball. Oh, tough shot spun out on Jay Heath. Prentice Hub just had his first points, and now he's got two more and a chance to stamp a three-point play. Be a turning point in terms of illustrations of toughness from the Irish. Prentice Hub has been quiet. Quick first step by Prentice Hub and the reverse going underneath. Such a quick first step. I thought he's going to finish on his strong side, left side. That is a big time play from a guy having a big time day. He said about 400 students to come in and they certainly make themselves heard. And I find it fascinating, Cora. I have said, there's the dunk for Jogo and that one's going to count. Nobody defending him and it's no problem throwing it down. Hub pulls up from deep. Nothing but net. It's back to a 13 point. He's so valuable to this team. I'm sure he will be back on the court when we come back from our under four timeout. Prentice Hub off the hesitation, lays it in. See him on Thursday. Who is your player of the year? You get a vote in this, Corey. Who did you pick? Well, if that were a test, I got a 50. As Allison mentioned earlier, Notre Dame's going to have to be able to get some stops against this Wake Forest team, but Wake Forest will be the team advancing on to play tomorrow. Prentice Hub for knocking down his first shot. Anything you can do, I can do better. Prentice Hub with the step back three, knocking it down for his first basket.
cooled off, and so did the Fighting Irish. Beautifully moved, but a great block by Durham. Up to penetrate and blows by everybody for the lay-in. Nate Lashevsky, one of the most improved players in the league this year. And Notre Dame and North Carolina did meet once during the regular season. His hub knocks down a three.